bodies had started washing up in our neighborhood. So toxic, even scavengers stayed away. Coincidentally, it suddenly became much easier to get a multi-day work pass into Alphaville. We were so hungry and focused on other resources, we didn't make the connection. We assumed the workers were skipping on the visa. In fact, I was planning to do the exact same thing. So actually, I lucked out. I'm a small guy, and Alphaville was so strapped for labour at that point that I was given an unscreened pass and ended up in heavy labour, moving enormous containers into storage with mechanical suits. But it didn't fit them, so I was just given a scanner instead and told to scan serial numbers all day. It was very hard to breathe, so I traded for a spare hazmat suit from a drunk guard and put it on. Not unusual at all to hang out all day in a hazy. Technically, just walking outside required one those days. That's what saved me, twice. Whew, I mean, hindsight is twenty twenty, but those containers were the rocket fuel, and in no way was it being stored and transported safely. All those guys died, weathered to skin and bone. Nasty stuff. Again, it was all hidden in plain sight. Hell, we were all skin and bone at that point. We just assumed everyone was starving. I only got onto one of the last ships, up to Mars, because I was in a hazmat suit and holding that scanner, which I think had stopped working within the first days of my assignment. I never told anyone, and no one ever asked. I guess I was confused with security or something. All I remember is being yelled at, rushed into a shell, and then everyone patting me on the back and calling me Scully. The name embedded in the biometrics of the suit. I never saw my crew, or this guy again. Wow, what amazing luck to be in the right suit at the right time. Just goes to show, dressing appropriately for the job can really go a long way. Speaking of dressing appropriately, here's a Mars fun fact. Despite an average temperature of well below minus 80 degrees centigrade, if you step outside without a suit on, you won't freeze to death, your blood will boil. That's due to the low atmospheric pressure outside. So please maintain your suits properly and follow decontamination protocols strictly at all times when returning from extra habitat activities. No suit, no life as we say. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Right, how about a 21st century love song remixed for the 22nd? Who's watching who? Espionage or true love? I guess we'll never really be quite sure. for us to hide no room for love 